It's Manny Kenny. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Manny Kenny again. If you are new here, you're very welcome. If you're really part of this fam, though, I appreciate you. All right. So, <laughs> if you are new, please subscribe right below and um, click that red button, click the bell, so you get notified every time I post something new. Cause y'all be learning a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff about beauty and hair on this channel. So before we jump right into this video about hair and laces, have you subscribed yet? I see you. You come back and watch and you don't subscribe. Just subscribe, alright? You like it. You love the content. You always keep coming back anyway. So, what are you waiting for? Yeah, so let's jump right into this video. Alright, so we're going to be talking about laces today. So there are different types of laces. First of all, what is a lace? A lace is a material which is used on... This is a lace. It's a material which is used on wigs. On the frontal, it can be a frontal, a 360, but I'll get into that later. And um, which is used to give um, an illusion of scalp for laces, for lace frontal wigs. So if you want your wig not to look wiggy, then you buy a lace frontal or a lace closure wig. Yeah. So now there are different types of um, lace frontals and closures. So what is a closure? The most common closure is the 4x4. Four what does 4x4 four four mean? 4x4 four four means um, 4 inches wide or 4 inches long. So 4 inches long, 4 inches wide. So this wig, for example, was handmade and it with a 4x4. Four four. So you see from this end to this other end is 4 inches. And from this top to this deep point is 4 inches. That is the meaning of 4x4. Four four. And now, what is a 13 by 4 13 by 4 is the most common frontal so they call it closure because it's just a little part you know just a mini little 4x4 four four part which gives you a little bit of diversity when you put it on in a week you'll be somewhere around here depending on where you want to put it but that means that in this area you can put you no know, this line like I did you can put a line in the middle you can put a little line here but all of these other ends cannot be you no know, cannot be held up like this because Obviously, the lace gives you freedom only around these areas. Then that is why people buy the frontal. So before I jump into the frontals, there are different types of closures. So I just showed you the 4x4. Four four. There is 5x5, five five, which I do not have right here on hand. There is 6x6, six six, there is 7x7. Seven seven. And as you should have known by now or <laughs> noticed by now, the numbers are the, the, the lengths actually. So the 4x4, four four, it is four long four wide six by six four um <laughs> six long uh, six inches long six six inches wide five by five five inches long five inches wide seven by seven yeah just like that and the bigger it is the more freedom it gives you so let's say if the four by four is here the five by five is like a little wider six by six a little seven by seven more probably but it is not right up to the ends and that what that means is you have diversity only in those areas so you have freedom to put up the hair make a, a high pony maybe like just here in the a half pony in the front not really a half pony half pony is like right here but then like a middle pony i don't know like a cute little pony up here but you cannot pull you cannot pull the hair all back you know like this so um that's why you get a frontal now there are different types of frontals there is the 13 by 4 and 13 by 6 what does that mean 13 by 4 is this 13 long 13 inches long and 4 inches deep or 4 inches wide so 13 inches long is like from this end to this if you measure this it should be 13 inches or maybe even a little longer here and in here is 4 inches deep so from the hairline right here so where it ends where you see the comb it's supposed to be four inches deep so this is how um, my wigs come you get your frontal attached to your bundles in this type of cap stretchy cap mostly medium size so 22 inches circumference and um, here you get at least three combs sometimes four so you have one here and two on the sides and sometimes one in the bottom but many of my clients don't really like the one in the bottom so 
sometimes I, I know of me that is also very important because you have the adjustable straps right here which you can use you know pin them together to have this effect you know to match better with your head size and everything to fit it better and everything anyway so that is the 13 by 4 so now what is 13 by 6 13 by 6 is pretty much the same thing so 13 inches long like this and 6 inches wide meaning that this will not be 4 inches it will be 2 inches more so you'll be like deeper oh my gosh so it's going to be instead of being 4 here it's going to be deeper to like right in here and that what does it do it gives you like a way bigger freedom so with the 13 by 6 this is gonna be 13 inches long as normal and this is going to be 6 inches deep and what happens or what that means is that you have no bigger freedom first of all with the frontal you just have so much diversity possibilities you can do a, a whole you know middle pony so you just take all of this here i cannot do this with the short hair but all of this and make a pony you know half up pony and with the 13 by 4 you can part to the you know to where the 4 inches so from the front to 4 inches in here somewhere and with the 13 by 6 it's like here right in the middle of your head somewhere so it gives you like a more realistic part so you can do like really deep parts and stuff but um, I think the 13 by 4 is alright it's okay except you just want to have that extra 2 inches you know what I mean yeah so um, what else did I want to tell you guys today? I wanted to tell you um, about more of the type of laces which I cannot show you right now. There is a 360, um, no 360 lace, which just means that the lace is all over the circumference, all over the head, like from this end, you no, know, all around is lace. Um, I don't have that here right now, but yeah and then there is the full lace wigs where you have the whole wig is out of lace so there is no cap there's no cap like this the whole thing is lace yeah so there's that um now we're going to talk about the types of laces the colors so there is french lace and but um i would pretty much not advise french lace because it's a little bit harder but what is most popular at the moment is the Swiss lace. All of my lace is Swiss lace. And Swiss lace is just a little bit more thinner, you know, easier to work with, easier to blend into the skin. And when I say blend into the skin, do not expect that nobody's going to see your lace. Like, it's always going to be lace. Lace is never going to look like skin, <laughs> whether it's thin as what. Anyway, so we have that aside. And, um,. So um, my wigs are always gonna come in um, light brown. Now we talk about the colors. So there is transparent lace, extra transparent. Like I've, I've heard all types: HD, high definition, high density, all kinds of stuff. But um, what I'm going to tell you is there is um, light brown lace, dark brown lace, brown lace, green lace, and then I will tell you green or green or gray lace. I call it green or gray. It's a no-go. Like if a vendor or a hair shop is going to sell you green lace it's a no-go do not do that um the light brown lace that my hair comes with this is the deep wave in 22 inches but um it comes in this light brown this is for this is what the light brown lace would look like so this is a 13 by 4 and it will come in light brown this is what light brown will look like and there is transparent lace so this lace is transparent but it's not white because i've seen transparent lace that is white and yeah I, I don't know if that's a type of lace i don't think so but then this is transparent lace so it's a little bit beigey a little bit skin tone but a little no lighter and um when i put it side by side so you can see this is the light brown and this is the transparent you can see the difference even on my skin you see this leaves me like a whitish grayish um, tone which means obviously that I need to tint it and this almost matches but I still need to do a little tweaking a little bit of tweaking for it to you no know, blend into my skin perfectly and yeah those are the two types that I have there is the HD lace, I don't have it right here, but the HD Swiss lace is just 
thinner lace so it is thinner than this and more fragile like yeah more fragile than this and it will blend like it just gives you a better illusion when you go to your hairstylist and or when you put it yourself you get a better illusion out of the lace than the others but it just depends on you it would probably tear off fast I have an HD lace wig and every time it's gonna be bad so now I have to throw it away or change the frontal zone because every time when I'm trying to wear it when I tug on it like you know to pull it into place it tears off because it's so fragile yeah I cannot show you guys that because I already cut the lace I've used it a few times so you will not really see the difference on this video but yeah so this is the straight hair but yeah so these are the different types of um, lace most of the time most of my wigs are going to come in light brown and for the long straight hair I have the transparent which is a little bit scarce too so you can always text me that is on demand and I'll get that for you so I'll show you the this is the light brown lace and the transparent lace one more time yeah and right so I hope that you guys were able to learn something new I hope that this was helpful for you and yeah uh, I'll see you in my next video but before you leave though watch my next video right <laughs> make sure you check out my next video I will be making more of this videos to let you guys know what is the difference on different aspects of beauty hair especially the laces the caps the textures and yeah so if you want to learn more about that hair products what is good what is not good and all of that then um subscribe hit the little bell so you get inspired every time i post something new and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah. Mwah. it's manny kenny